I just wanted to take a quick moment uh, here in, in my church office as opposed to my home office and show you uh, what I was working on this morning. I had a uh, working on some of these smart blocks uh, from Rome Hackers, Rome 42. If you haven't tried that, give it a try. Uh, you know, in my courses and in a lot of my other videos, I, I keep it to native Rome because I know a lot of people are just starting out in Rome and, uh, you know, you want to know, understand the basics. And I, and I think that's really super, super, super important. I don't think there's enough content out there for that. So uh, I, I, I like to share that information. Uh, I will say, though, that uh, I think that smart blocks make some very interesting things possible. And I wanted to share something that I have set up for my morning routine. So in my morning routine here, you can see I have, um, I do a little self-coaching routine here. I do a morning assessment, um, which, uh, you know, I track some sleep things, uh, some things that I'm, you know, what can I do for my family today, that kind of stuff. Uh, and I have my agenda, which is uh, for my task management. And then I have my log, which is for my interstitial journaling, uh, which helps keep me with my, uh, on task uh, with my productivity throughout the day. And then I have this nice little line. This is a new feature. If you put three, uh, three hyphens back to back, it'll create that horizontal rule line there for you. So I, the reason I wanted to show you this is that this smart block gives me control now over uh, what's going to show up depending on the day of the week. I mentioned this self-coaching. I only do the self-coaching on Monday mornings. It's my weekly vision setting. So I have this set up so that it'll only show up on Monday mornings. Right now it's Sunday. Uh, so I'm going to show you what happens if I if I do this uh, smart block. Um, if you're brand new to Rome uh, and you don't have any idea what Rome 42 is, that's totally cool. You can kind of go over to Rome42.com and it'll pull you into Rome Hackers uh, public Rome research graph there that talks about Rome 42. It's not complicated to set up, but at the same time, don't feel like you have to. This is a this is a feature that is I don't know that I'd say this is quote unquote advanced, but certainly the extension Rome 42 um, adds a whole different level of functionality to Rome, um, which I I use for uh, creating workflows like this um, and 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 a few other things. But I'm still just getting my footing with it because it's still in beta and uh, it's it's still underway. So, but I really love this feature, so I wanted to share it with you. Uh, but to to call upon a smart block in room 42, you hit semicolon twice. Uh, and I call this routine morning. You can see on the screen there, it says smart block morning. When I do that, it's going to fill out everything about that setup right there. And so now my whole morning routine is there and ready. If this were Monday, I'm going to make a quick little change here um, so that you can see that it does work with the self-coaching. If this were Monday, well, we're going to change it so that it shows up on Sunday. So the day of the week is now seven, which is their, the, the code for the days of the week with this particular operator is Monday is one uh, up through Sunday is seven. So now if I double semicolon and hit morning, I'm going to get the self-coaching. Sorry, <laughs> my, my uh, cursor went the wrong place there. Self-coaching template in front of the morning assessment and all the rest of that. So now I have that there. So I'll change it back to it's Monday so it doesn't mess with my brain tomorrow. Uh, but you can see now, this allows me to do my morning routine just from one quick two semicolon start typing morning when it shows up, select it, and everything that I need is going to be there. That workflow for the day is going to be there. And it can even be uh, customized based on the day of the week without me having to think about it. Well, I have to think about it to set it up. Uh, but when I'm done, it's there. So to reiterate, if you're brand new to Rome, you don't have to dive into this yet. Uh, this is, you know, think about this as one of those uh, things that you can add on as you understand Rome better. Um, but by all means, feel free to go over to Rome42.com and, and check out uh, how to install Rome42 and how you can start to make use of some of these cool things in smart blocks. If your mind is algorithmically inclined, uh, if you're interested in, to, in uh, in programming, even as a, as a, as a hobbyist, I'm sort of a hobbyist level programmer. Uh, I, I certainly don't do it as a profession, but I, I like to uh, play around with that sort of uh, way of thinking. So this appeals to me, uh, but don't feel like this is something that you have to use in order to, uh, 
to use Rome effectively. Um, I, I am thinking about, I have two courses. I have a powerful task management in Rome research, and I have your road to Rome, which is really geared toward people who are getting started in Rome. I'm thinking about including in both um, sort of an optional segment on how to incorporate some Rome 42 and smart blocks things. But honestly, I'm still uh, getting a handle on, on, on all of them myself. So uh, that may come over time. Uh, but I so appreciate what, uh, Chris, what Rome Hacker has uh, uh, done with these here. And uh, and I think it's just going to be such a powerful feature moving forward. This is just one, one very simple implementation of uh, some really neat uh, and interesting features and power for your workflows that, that uh, smart blocks can add. So uh, that's, what, that's what I wanted to share with you today. I just thought it would be interesting to see how, how adding smart blocks and doing a fairly simple little operation can make my morning routine uh, very, very simple.